guys welcome back to my channel sorry I've been MIA but I thought I'd come back with a movie review um, because I recently watched Jurassic World Forbidden Kingdom and I didn't see it at the theaters because I didn't see a lot of good reviews about the movie so I didn't see it in theaters but I just watched it on DVD and I thought I would just do a review of it why not so basically the movie starts with um we see Claire's character from the first Jurassic World movie and she's seemingly working at this um dinosaur protection group I think is what it was called in the movie which I when I first heard that I was like really like that sounds weird and I thought I thought it was really funny to be honest um and we find out that her and Owen aren't together anymore. It's kind of confusing, which is my main point of this movie, but I'll get into that a little bit. Um, I will put a timestamp somewhere or try to when I actually start reviewing the actual movie. And basically, Claire goes to Owen because there is a volcano erupting on the Isla Nublar island and Claire and this dinosaur protection group are trying to save these animals from extinction once again. And Jeff Goldblum's character from, you know, Dr. Michael, Dr. Malcolm from the original Jurassic Park movies, he, his character's in this one and is basically kind of, I think he's kind of on the opposing side. He's trying to make it, I think he's always been like, you know, obviously ever since he's had his many near-death experiences with these dinosaurs, that he's, he's making his case that we shouldn't be saving these dinosaurs. And Claire and Owen go to the island um, and with this team because they're told by this guy who's a relative of John Hammond apparently that he wants to save the animals as well. So they all go to the island to try to save the animals. They find out that this John Hammond relative is actually trying to take the animals back to the mainland, to his house, his mansion, and we find out later in the movie that he's trying to sell these animals to the highest bidder in an auction, and I think, personally, the biggest problem I had with this movie was the writing is terrible, the characterization the development of the characters and also just the backstory of the characters like some of the characters like it's just it's just not good in my opinion not good even the action sequences aren't that great so yeah it's just it's um it's not the best movie and i mean i could go on and on about like how i feel about dinosaurs and i mean i and i would 100 percent say that this is my least favorite dinosaur dinosaur this is my least favorite Jurassic Park world movie period like I did not like it at all really even the action sequences like I said earlier um weren't great not very great it just uh, yeah. honestly when I first saw this for the, the trailer for this movie I was like intrigued because they hadn't really delved into the whole like what if these animals that are back were threatened by extinction again. Like, that's an interesting concept to me, but at the same time, it kind of undermines the whole, like, idea of Jurassic Park. I, I feel like maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong completely about all this. They're dangerous creatures. And yes, I get that some of them aren't dangerous and some of them are. And I get that just because a dangerous creature is a dangerous creature, in the wrong hands does not mean that it's a dangerous creature in all. But I mean, but dinosaurs, I, I honestly agree with Dr. Malcolm, and I'm gonna quote the first movie, that they had their chance. You know, they were selected by nature to be killed. I mean, I, I personally do think they had their chance, honestly. I. But as a lover of Jurassic Park movies and dinosaurs in general, because I do love dinosaurs because they're awesome, but as a lover of these movies and dinosaurs in general, obviously I like these movies and I love dinosaurs. So I would say if you are wanting to watch this movie, 
don't but if you can rent it because it's on dvd now of course if you want to rent it fine by me i mean the experience isn't like all bad i mean there are aspects that aren't horrible just you know seeing the dinosaurs and and i don't know it's just it just left me not satisfied honestly i would give this movie like a five or a six like it could have been so much better the writing was just abhorrent like it was just horrible like just not good in any way shape or form so so that's my review of this movie i hope you enjoyed and oh the gifted premieres tonight so i'm thinking about doing a review of that as well soon so if you want me to do that let me know in the comments below or like this video if you like this if you like dinosaurs if you like jurassic park if you have thoughts about jurassic world for fallen kingdom did i say forbidden kingdom i think i said forbidden kingdom it's called fallen kingdom sarah nah. so yeah but if you want me to do that let me know because i'm thinking about I'm probably going to watch it tonight after I go to class and I could totally do a review. So yeah. And if you want me to do a review of the first season of The Gift of the Gifted, I can maybe also do that. So let me know what you guys want to see next. And I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell because I want you to join my family. So yeah. Thank you. Bye.